Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 125 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah. do you ever wonder why you married me i i've given up guessing what she's going to wear on keto on the couch i've given up guessing what she's going to wear when she goes to church it's probably best i mean so we got to talk about this so yesterday Rachel came home from church and I pretty much fell out of my chair. Yeah. Because see, I didn't get to go to church yesterday. I had games with Anthony, which is why we didn't do our live stream yesterday. And that was another whole thing because we wanted to go to church. Yeah. But what ended up happening was towards the end of the day, we were supposed to be there from like eight o'clock in the morning till 2.30 in the afternoon. But and you had to kind of rescue an official. Yeah, well the tournament director came over and said, hey, we need two people who can like score and time some games for the later games. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to stay. So ready to go home. And especially cause you, you know, you only get a couple bucks, but I was like, I don't mind that. It was that you had to wait 45 minutes between when we were done and that game. And then another 45 minutes in between. And I'm like, now I gotta sit here for an hour and a half and do nothing. Disco nap? That's what Anthony did. Anthony went to the car and took a, a nap for 30 minutes. That kind of nap just like ticks me off. It irritates me. It what about you help. guys? That irritates me. Like if I can't just sleep until I'm done sleeping, yeah. I'm not going to sleep. No. They're like, I wake up with a headache if I take a 20 minute. Who, who ever heard of a power nap? No. What is a power nap? It makes me more tired. Yes. So anyway, so we ended up staying and I'm glad we stayed because um, this was a seven on seven tournament and what ended up happening was you only get one official on a seven on seven tournament. Is that enough? No, it's not. Especially when you get to high school games because yeah. there's a lot of, you know, there's kids, they know each other. And so there, there was, then there were some coaches who were not super nice. They thought they knew everything, even though they didn't know the rules. But it's the holidays. I actually asked one of the coaches yesterday talking like, it wasn't a mean thing. We were talking. It was a guy I know who's really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were talking about like coaches and like the problem is if they don't know the rules. But if you learn the rules as a coach, really learn the rules, like an official learning the rules, yeah. you can get away with a lot of stuff because you can learn how to use the rules to your advantage. Wow. Well, think about it. There's like little nuances that people don't know that you can do. Like somebody being like a lawyer or something, knowing the loopholes. Yes. So there's loopholes within any sport. And if you could learn how to use those, then you <laughs> could be a better coach. And then what, of course, what happens is, is every year, like U.S. lacrosse or whatever sport it is, they tweak rules, especially when they change them. But then they tweak their changes because they realize, hey, somebody figured out how to manipulate this rule. Like a couple of years ago in, in lacrosse, you can't push off of somebody. If you have the ball, you can't use your body to push off. That makes sense. So a couple of years ago, US lacrosse put this rule in there saying that you can't ward off, which is pushing off. You can't do it. It's, it's not against the rules if both of your hands are on the stick. Oh my god. So gracious. now what happened was kids started their hands actually, on the stick. no, they had their hands on the stick, but then they would use their head and push off. But see, if their hand wasn't on the stick, that was illegal. But if their hand was on the stick, it was. So now they changed the rules again, saying that, like, no, 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 you can't use any part of your body, hands on the stick or not. Like, so there's uh. always these little things that they have to do. So we were talking to the coach, and I said, here's the problem. A lot of times, the coaches don't even know the color of the rule book. And he, uh -oh. he's like, I don't know if that's true. So he called over two of his assistant coaches, and he asked them, what's the color of the lacrosse rule book? And neither one of them knew. Wow. Neither one of them knew. And these are guys, and it's been the same color for years, and neither one of them knew the color of the rule book. So what does that say? Like I've never opened up They my don't rule book. open the rule book. They don't even know the color of it. So anyway, what ended up happening was I'm glad we stayed because those games got a little out of control. We even had one with a bunch of punches thrown. So Anthony and I were able to stay, help out a fellow official who is a super nice guy. 
And uh, yeah, we just jumped on the games and didn't even get paid for it, but it was still nice to be there to help him out. Meanwhile, I was at church dressed like a reindeer. And you know what I also just realized as I'm saying that, it took care of our Friday 12 days of serve because the guy who we were helping is a single dad. Oh, I love that. And he was so appreciative. He was like, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if you wouldn't have been here because, I mean, the coaches were out of control. The kids were out of control. So Yeah, right now we are in the midst of a 12 days of serving. Yes. So back to what started this whole conversation about lacrosse. Rachel comes home from church and she walks in and I, I literally fell out of my chair. Because if you think this outfit is crazy. This is mild. Last night, she was wearing my reindeer onesie. I was. But decided to girl it up a little bit. Well, you have to. It was, I felt like naked. At too much of a bare stomach area. I needed to put something on that. So she put on a glitter silver mini skirt. As, over the onesie. As a reindeer would do. I feel like that's what they would wear. Then she was, I wish we had a picture of this. Then she was wearing high heel, fuzzy lined, was it brown pumps? Well, it I was, mean, and they were high. They were like three, four inch heels. Well, they were the only shoes that I had that matched my onesie. Got a match. And if that's not bad enough, she got like little light bulbs, like Christmas light bulbs, like the C9 size that ran on batteries and had them hanging from her reindeer ears as earrings. Well, don't you think that a reindeer young lady would, would want to have pierced ears? No. Obviously. All I know is it was so bad that Pastor, who is used to Rachel always being dressed weird for the kids on Sunday, actually had to stop and take a picture. And be like, this is my children's director. Well, I feel like he was probably doing it in preparation for the police report. You know, you need to be able to explain yourself. I bet the kids enjoyed it, though. They had so much fun. And actually, we had some really good conversations about reindeers. Okay. Because this week, at least in the preschool class, we were learning about obedience and um, doing what you're supposed to be doing. Right. And a lot of times... You know, you think about obedience in terms of your mom tells you to do something and so you do it because right. that's obedience. But also obedience is understanding like what your role is and continuing to do the right thing within that role. So they were talking about what would happen if you had a team of reindeer, but they all decided to just go their own way and not and not obey the track that they're supposed to stay on. Right. Like what would happen? You know, the... The side effect of that is, yeah, you get to try to go your own way, but really you're tethered to this team, so you're not going to enjoy yourself anyway. Right. And then also, people are going to get their presents. You're going to be disappointing all of your fellow reindeer. It was kind of a good conversation because, yeah, that is something you need to be a team player too. Yeah, that's true. So let's talk about our week. Yes. Because that's what Keto on the Couch is. Or it's, we're, First of all, we're not Keto on the Couch this week. Obviously, we're Keto, keto the at bench. the Bench. Because if you're new to our channel, welcome, first of all. Uh, but if you're new to our channel, we are in the middle of 24 straight days of live streaming. And we're doing that in this room. And we don't want to move the camera and all that. So until January, it's Keto on the Bench. Yes. So, so sorry that you've probably, you may be sick of our faces yeah. at this point. I don't know. So anyway, speaking of that, we just finished up the 12 days of keto, which if you're new to our channel, we'd live stream for 12 straight days. And we had several companies, 12 actually, 12, 12 companies we give us things number. to give away. They sponsored us live streaming and their sponsorship was simply by giving us something to give away. They didn't give us any money or anything like that. But that was awesome. It was awesome. So we do ask you if any of those are products that you guys like, please use the links down below so that they know that you found them or like that you appreciated that they sponsored our live streams. Yeah, because we would like to be able to give away more things in the coming year. And what I thought was really cool was for the most part, it seemed like a lot of the people who won, the thing that they won was Something a they wanted to try. That they had never tried before. Yep. So that was great. And can and I sing my song? Yeah, but speaking of the winners, there are a couple of products that we still have not heard from the winners yet. We have not heard from the winner for the Alterna Suites. So if you entered into that, which we, all you had to Ruh -ruh. do was leave a comment on that day, 
go back and check on the next day to see if you won. Also, we're still needing two Keto Crate winners. Oh, you guys don't want to mix. You don't want to miss it because there's Max Mallows Yeah, in this so one. go check the, the December 12th live stream and see if you won one of the Keto Crates. Now, if we don't hear by the winners by this coming Tuesday, we're going to have to pick another winner, which yeah. I believe is December 17th. Because we don't want to miss out? No, we don't want anybody to miss out. But if, again, it's been a week. So please, please, please go check those out. And if, if you're new to our channel, haven't seen any live streams, go watch them. They were a lot of fun. We, we talked for over an hour. You get to see us make lots of silly technical problems and everything else. But we, we did um, comment a lot on different um, keto questions. Yeah. So maybe there's an answer that you're looking for. So during the 12 days of keto, Rachel wrote a song for the 12 days of keto but based it on the sponsors instead of yeah. the 12 days of Christmas. Baby, basically, j baby, basically just to give a shout out to all those sponsors who, who did such a nice thing and just yep. shared their products so with us. So for the last time. Here we go. Here's Rachel's song. On the 12th day of Keto 2 k You want to try that again? Let's try that again. Go ahead. On the 12th day of Keto 2 Crazy Keto's gave away seasonings from Fresh Jacks, mugs from Primal Noms, a dash of Redmond Real Salt, sweet delicious niche cakes, Carrie Brown's cookbooks, Lolly's cookie clusters, rich and chocolatey keto bars, an orange keto crate, alterna sweet sauces, Chris and Miriam's keto chow, perfect keto goodies. And, and a, a keto, keto coach, ketone meter. So thank you very much to all of those companies for sponsoring the 12 Days of Keto. We did really enjoy it. And we enjoyed it so much that we're now doing the 12 Days of Serving. But I'm really excited about the 12 Days of Serving. Now, let's, let's get this straight. We were doing 12 Days of Serving before. We just decided to live stream during it because this is something that our church does every year. And we decided, like... A lot of people might want to join in with us. Well, what is interesting is how creative that people are being right. and coming up of, with ways to serve people during the holidays. And I think it's great if you, um, we, we're actually putting up on our blog, mm -hmm. um, the serve itself. Yeah. So if you go to our, there's a link down below. If you go to our blog on our website, which is twocrazyketos.com. We've got the, the little card up there of what we're doing. And if you can't do something on one day, or if you don't want to, you yeah. don't have to. No. Uh, you could do it on a different day. And we're asking you guys, you know, if come up with some different ideas. Leave comments on the blog of things you would do. And also post it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Use the hashtag um, 2KK12DOS. And use the hashtag Coastal12DOS because we got the idea from our church. Yeah. And our church is actually giving away prizes to people when they're as they're doing things too. So, so there you go. Enter to win. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, I, I don't want you to think, well, I don't want to comment and say what I'm serving because this is like a serve thing. And, and like, I don't want to be bragging on what I'm doing. That's not it. We want you to share what you're doing because you're giving creative ideas to everybody, right. right? So there was somebody that had shared that they had gone up and down the highways and were looking for people who were like broken down on the side of the road and was helping to either give them a jump, help them change their tire, whatever it was. And when people from our church had found out that they had done that, some of the people were like, you know what? I'm doing that. Like, I'm going to go up I-95 and the turnpike and just see, is there any family that, you know, is maybe traveling during the holidays? And if they've experienced um, some car trouble, they don't even have to wait for AAA. I'm going to be there for them. And yeah. I thought that was kind of awesome. So, <coughs> Excuse me. So you're helping give a lot of good ideas for people to use to serve others, not just during the holiday season, but like all, all year the time. long. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Actually, the 12 days of serving in past is what kind of got me to every once in a while, like go to Wawa and you know, buy somebody a cup of coffee that happens to be in line. Just bless somebody for the day. And it's, yeah. I love the smile that they get when oh they Oh my goodness, it. right? So, so uh, for the rest of the week, it's just been a normal week in the Two Crazy Keto's house. Like a million things going on, but we're enjoying ourselves. You're curing some bacon. I'm curing bacon because one of our subscribers, which is Slap a Stick or Christopher, yep. uh, sent me a thing on how to do it. And I did go after my games yesterday, Anthony and I ran to Costco because, again, we have four Costcos within eight miles of each other. And we only one of them carries pork belly. 
Hey. And I'm so at worried. Least there's one. Yeah, but I was so worried that wait a second, the other three don't carry it. Maybe this one's gonna get rid of it. I bought two pork bellies. Well, that's never a bad decision. And so yeah, Christopher sent me a thing on how he does his bacon. So I bought the bait I bought the pork belly, immediately went on to Amazon, ordered the curing salt. Here we go. Got it delivered today. And it is currently curing in my refrigerator. Are you excited? I'm excited. The only problem is, is I don't know about waiting this two weeks for the curing process. <sighs> that does seem like a long time. It does. Now we are going to do a video on it, but before I can do a video on how to do this. Make sure it actually we works. Make sure we can actually do it. If, if but we, people have already asked, like, can you do a video on this? Like, I've never done it before. Let's try not to kill ourselves. Yeah. If you don't see a future video at all. You'll know we did the bacon wrong. And I do know a lot of people keep asking, like, what's going on with the um, the, the bacon wrap wings, which we have got to do this week. Yes. But we Stop have promising just, this. We have not had time to do anything but the live streaming. And we keep saying, like, oh, we, but then we're like, oh, we got to move the camera. <laughs> Forget it. But it's been, as far as our food, you ate keto chat this week because you were yeah. still not 100%. No, I kind of ate I a hodgepodge. I smoked a turkey. A nose thing going on. Yeah. I smoked a turkey, so I ate turkey a bunch of days. I ate some bacon. I ate eggs. And then right now, I'm in the middle of a 48-hour fast. Yeah. Because you had some inflammation. Yeah. So you just wanted Friday, to get rid of. we had a volunteer party for uh, the, the volunteers at church. A Christmas party. Which, as a side effect, we had pizza for, you know, the masses. Yep. And then I also wanted to make sure that we had some keto options. And I went to Costco and got like big packages of lunch meat, turkey, ham, different things like that. And then really quick and simple. And it was actually very inexpensive. Oh, and cheese uh -huh. that was cut cut up. So I just made my own platter because you're, you're paying a premium for them to roll up that meat for you. Right. So I just rolled up all of the different pieces of meat, cut them put a toothpick through them. Everybody loved it. Yeah. There's nobody keto or no keto. Like everybody loves it. And then you had those mini it. pickles that you found. We found in a jar, it was a pickle and attached to it was a pimento, an olive, and a little onion. Mm -hmm. And boy, they looked fancy. In fact, all the people said, wow, this is like fancy. And it was already in. Already done. On already skewers done. and everything. And I think I paid $8 for this giant jar of it. So... Hey, it was an easy keto option for a holiday party. Didn't cost us a lot of money. Just cost you your time to roll right. up the meat and stuff. But everybody loved it. Well, I don't know if I ate too many pickles or what. Because I, that was all I had eaten. And I woke up Saturday morning to go to my games and I couldn't move. I felt the inflammation. I was up eight pounds from the night before. Which Great you know day. is inflammation. Like yeah. You can't possibly gain eight pounds of fat overnight. Especially when I you only not. ate like, you know... 1800 calories that would be a nightmare that would be a nightmare so um but i couldn't move my legs hurt my back hurt so i just decided you know what i'm gonna fast i'm gonna see how long i can go i'm probably gonna break the fast today but a bunch of keto chow fasting drops i did have a couple of zip fizzes because i was again running around in the heat and florida doesn't know what the temperature is supposed to be like because the other day it was in the 50s and yesterday it was like almost 90. go home florida you're drunk i know right so yeah but immediately, I felt better by like 12 o'clock. But of course, then you go through that fasting thing. How many people get cold when you get to the 24 hour oh, yeah. mark? Oh, absolutely. I, get I really cold. was so cold last night. I like was trying to get a second comforter. And Tabitha has decided she's got run of the house. Oh, yeah. In our bed. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And so because somebody spoiled her, I don't know who. But... She's decided she's sleeping in our bed every night. So I've got Tabitha on one side, and Tabitha weighs by over 100 pounds if you're new to our channel. She's she a does. She's a 19-month-old Labrador Retriever that weighs 100 pounds. And uh, I've got Rachel on the other side, and it still was not keeping me warm. Sorry. Then I woke I up this morning best. to find out that it was like 60 degrees outside. I was like, maybe that's why it was cold. Have you experienced a flush where you feel less inflamed now? Oh, I don't. I definitely don't have the inflammation anymore. I feel much better. Uh, I checked my ketones when I got home from church, which that's going to be about 38 hours fasted, 
1.8, which is ridiculous oh, off the cha of. charts on me. I mean, I average like a 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5. Yeah. No matter what. Like even 24 hours fasted, 36 hours fasted. I think that I'm usually like a 0. 0.7 at 36 hours fasted. So there's some good advice. Mm -hmm. If you're having, if someone is experiencing that kind of like inflammation, water retention, all of that stuff, your first thing might be to eat a certain thing or drink a bunch of stuff or something and you just fast. Yeah, fasting. I just fast just because I, I also knew that the fasting for me, that I the, the inflammation wasn't from something that I ate. I knew that it was, I was stressed because Friday for our live stream, 15 minutes before our live stream, the power went out. Totally out. And then we're like, what are we gonna do? This is day one of the 12 days of serving. And then the power comes back on with plenty of time, but when the power went out, it screwed up our internet. So like we were frantic and we're, you know, trying to get the live stream going, having to use our phone. Then we had to run to the party to get home and I had other stuff to do to get up in the morning for my game. So I had a worse night's sleep, but I think all of that stress and not good sleep, and I've been sick for the last few days, just like led to it's, some inflammation. It is interesting because you think that, well, that's just going to lead to me feeling tired or me feeling upset, but no, it can actually manifest yeah. as inflammation throughout your body. So I knew it had nothing to do with food I ate, like going off keto, because I didn't go off of keto. So for me, usually I know my body, I know when I'm not feeling good. So the best thing for me is just even a 24 hour fast. 24 yeah. hour fast will usually flush whatever it is out. I'm back down into the 180s. So, and again, I'm not hungry. That's the best part of it. I mean, like I'm going to eat, but I'm not hungry. What I should do if I was really smart was just be like, how long can I go? But there's some good food in the other fridge and I don't want it to go bad. Yeah. So, um, what else happened this week? Nothing really, right? I can right? see our dog like acting the fool in there. Yeah, she wants to come in here, but we're not letting her in here near that tray. No. No, <laughs> she's not coming in here. So is there anything else we need to talk about? Yeah, before we get into our subscriber of the weeks, let's quickly go over the 12 days of serving live stream. Yes. So every day between now and Christmas Eve, we are live streaming for the 12 days of serving. It's 30 minutes to an hour. Just kind of talk about what's going on, answering your questions, hearing Christmas ideas, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. And uh, so what we're doing is we're gonna be live streaming every day at five o'clock, mm -hmm. with the exception of on this Thursday, right. which I believe is the 19th. I think it's the 19th. I'm not sure. Eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Mm -hmm. Saturday will be at noon. And then on Christmas Eve, this is an early one, it's gonna be 9 a.m. Eastern time. Because we figure people have a lot of stuff going on on Christmas Eve. Well, people have a lot of stuff going on and we are actually having an early morning family event and that is that- We're gonna go see Star Wars. We're going to see the new Star Wars movie and it's half price tickets on Tuesdays. Sorry. So we're going on Tuesday, Christmas Eve and then our church is doing Christmas in the park. Yeah. So yeah, so that's gonna be a long day. So we're gonna do the live stream in the morning to conclude the 12 days of serving. And to get to say Merry Christmas and first. And to get to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Yeah. So you wanna do the subscriber of the week now? Yes. Okay, so if you're new to our channel, we have a Facebook family group. There's over 1,300 people in there. <laughs> and there is a link down below in the description for it. Please go join it. We have, like Rachel said, over 1,300 people in there. The coolest people in the That are there world. to encourage you, that, to leave recipes, share deals, lift you up, you know, just be there for you on your keto journey. So make sure you go join. And then leave your story there. Put your before and after pictures, what your journey's been like, because your story is going to encourage somebody else. And they just make every day better. Absolutely. So this week, um, nobody really put their stories up, so please make sure you go leave some for, you know, for next week. But I did want to honor somebody who's been a longtime subscriber who is really awesome. Yep. We've had him before as a subscriber of the week, but it is Vivid J. Vivid J. Also known as Jason. And I just wanted to put this little thing. There's no story. He just said his high school weight. And Vivid J now weighs 165 pounds. That moment when you get yourself back to your high school weight, that it, it's like, wow. I mean, just wow. So exciting. I remember when I finally hit my old high school weight and just feeling like, wow, I've totally like turned back time. 
and we're just so excited for you. That was pretty easy for me to hit my high school weight because I was fat in high school. <laughs> Aww. So uh, the other person I wanted to recognize real quick was we got a special picture in our email. And since a lot of people have uh, fallen in love with the story. Yes. So Miss Susie yes. sent us a picture of Dale to share with everybody because she doesn't do social media. Right. So here is a picture of Dale. Now, if you're new to our channel, uh, Miss Susie gave us a little story about how her husband, Dale, um, had dementia and he had passed away. But while he had the dementia, the one thing that he was able to do was crafts. And she sent us one of the wreaths that he had made for our subscriber Christmas tree back there. And it's, I don't think you can see it, but it's up on the very top. Very, very top. And she sent it to us to remind everybody that keto isn't just about weight loss, but no. it's about your health and ever, all the improvements that it can do in your life. Exactly. So. And if you guys would like to start kind of making comments on the subscriber Christmas tree, we have a blog post about yep. the subscriber Christmas tree and just what are some of your favorite ornaments that you're, that you're um, seeing on yep. that one. Uh, we'd like to award some folks for having the most popular ornaments. Yeah, I'm going to uh, figure out some kind of voting way this week and we will put that up probably on the last day of the 12 days of serve and then announce it on, or not on the last day of 12 days of serve, but like on this coming Thursday. Yeah. And then give you guys till the last day to vote and then we're gonna give away some prizes. Exactly. So, so let's get into comments. So the first comment is from Rachel. I had to put this hey, one in Rachel. there because it kind of made me feel good. Okay. She wrote, Joe giving Rachel his first sip of coffee is my relationship goal. Aw, he is very generous with his coffee sharing. Uh, Anne wrote, Hey, Anne. Your PJs are adorable. As for changing up the time for your Thursday Live, all I can say is do what fits into your schedule the best. You do Bless so much you. for us. You, we are also Patreons of Dr. Barry. We've never joined his Zoom meetings. That's about to change. I found him early in my keto journey, and shortly after I started keto, my husband joined me. We will be watching day 10 tonight. She left us a few days ago. I love hearing you sing your song, Rachel. Are you practicing it? And you must, as you have the timing down perfectly. Oh, man. And you are just so sweet. We just love you. So um, what she's talking about in there, if you're new to the channel, is after the 12 days of serve, we are going to live stream once every single week. It's been Thursdays at 8 o'clock. We're going to be changing that because we want to jump on Dr. Barry's Zoom lives, at which you get to do as a Patreon. So we're going to be shifting it to another day, and we're still trying to figure out what day and time is best so that we don't interfere with any other keto YouTubers who are live streaming. Yeah, because there's lots of awesome people, and we don't want anybody to miss them. So uh, Joe wrote... Hey, Joe. Uh, I spent more time with you all since last Sunday than I have with my own family. Aww. It's been a wonderful time. Thank you so much for spending your time yes, with us. Yes, thank you very much, but please don't neglect your family. Right. Hope wrote... Hey, Hope. Uh, it's been great seeing you guys all week. I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. You guys are great. I'm going to miss the 12 Days of Christmas song. Uh, you keep singing it until Christmas, please. Oh, you are precious, Hope. Uh, Gail wrote, Hey, Gail. Joe, my Air Force Falcons are going to the Cheez-Its Bowl, and thanks to your <laughs> recipe, I will be snacking on Cheez-Its with everybody else. Awesome. You know, I love how people have really embraced that recipe. I love that recipe. And they've just used can't make it. all different. I know, because we eat it, not because there's anything wrong there's with it. There's nothing wrong with it. I just eat it all. But I've, I've been really enjoying seeing how people have used different cheeses. Yeah. So Keto Cindy, keeping it real, over 50 wrote. Hey, Cindy. <laughs> Thank you for sharing my story. Also, talking about three-year-olds, I say that about my nine-month-old lab. When does he run the fastest? When you say, what is that in your mouth? Exactly. Tabitha absolutely, absolutely. knows when she's eating something she's not supposed to be eating. And she just runs away and hides. Yeah. So Nicole wrote. Hey, Nicole. Oh, my gosh. It's Nicole. Thank you so much for the spotlight. I'm new, so this is my first keto on the couch. So I was not even expecting it. My heart really feels full. Thank you. And yes, my toddler is my inspiration. I couldn't keep up with her without keto and coffee. Yes. Love to you both and the whole uh, Crazy Keto's family. Well, welcome. We're so excited for you to, to be with us. And yes, coffee, toddler life. Serious. <laughs> So Sherry wrote, Hey Sherry. I just love your subscriber of the week stories. So inspirational and motivational. You guys are such a blessing. I believe I've lost pounds just watching you two all week. Aww. You've done so much, I'm worn out for you. 
<laughs> You've been such a blessing to me personally, and I'm so thankful I came upon your videos. We're thankful for you. Thank you for taking a chance on us and spending your time with us. Yeah. Uh, Rachel wrote. Hey, Rachel. I love the Harry Potter pajamas, you two. I love hearing the success stories and seeing the before and after pictures. It's heartwarming knowing they have healthier lives now. The 12 days of Christmas has been so much fun. I love seeing you every day and getting to interact in real time. This channel is filled with positivity and love and I can't get enough. God bless you both. Oh man, God bless you. And yeah, you guys make this such a safe and encouraging space. Yep. And I think whether someone's on keto or not, we just need more of this in the world. Right. And again, that is why... You know, we try to do the subscriber of the weeks every week because we know that they can be inspirational stories and help somebody out there who's maybe having a hard time. Yeah, struggling with something specific. Yeah. Paul wrote. Hey, Paul. I gained three pounds and I lost it already. Ketones was 1.1, highest yet. That's nice. coming off of Thanksgiving. That is fantastic. Good job. Uh, Kristen wrote. Hey, Kristen. You guys' words in, and encouragement definitely gave me a boost today. Thank you. Good. Kevin wrote, Hey, Kevin. I have no support at home, so I thrive by being part of this loving community. Thank you, Joe and Rachel, and all the viewers. I love the Facebook group. You are never alone. No. Nope. There is always somebody out there. And what has been cool is because people are in different places on earth, right? right? Like there was somebody in Scotland that was on Nepal. The, Nepal, you know, different, I mean, in all the coasts, obviously. Yep. Um, so no matter what time of day or night, there's usually somebody There's on. usually somebody in that Facebook group posting. Yeah. So if you're having a struggle or you're having a win and you're like, boy, I'd love to share this with somebody or I'd love to talk to somebody, there's usually somebody in there to talk to. That's right. So Erica wrote. Hey, Erica. God bless you guys. It's okay to take some time for yourselves and sleep. We understand you have to function too. And you're already doing so much for everyone. And the live streams all month, basically. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you. Thank you for spending time with us. And honestly, the way we feel, we don't have to do this. We get to do this. Yes. And we jump out of bed excited to get to talk to you guys and um, just bring you new content or be on live stream with you and get to talk to you. So it is like a total joy. Yeah. Thank you. So if this is your first Keto on the Couch, last week we filmed Keto on the Couch. And uh, there was no sound because neither that microphone or that microphone or those microphones, none of them recorded sound. So at midnight, we had to re-record it. It was a Bermuda Triangle. And so, yeah. So there's a few comments about us having to do that. Thank you. Crafty Lady wrote. Hey, Crafty Lady. Cute PJs. My husband and I like to dress alike or at least coordinate our outfits. You two have to be on keto to have the energy to be doing all that you're doing. Staying up until midnight to redo this video. <laughs> Thank you again for all that you do for us, your family, and for your church. Oh my goodness. Our pleasure. And But yeah, I don't know how anybody gets through the holidays anymore without keto. No, right? I, I don't, don't know either. how I did it for years in the past. Right. Uh, Nancy wrote, hey, Nancy. God bless you two for coming on so late for us. You two are awesome. You're awesome. Uh, Debbie wrote, hey, Debbie. Oh man, audio fail. You guys are troopers. I love the matching PJs. Can you guys get any more precious? Oh. I love the live stream and the 12 days of keto. What a genius idea. I love you and I love seeing your name come up. She also wrote, I uh, love Carrie Brown. Her message is one that everybody should hear. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so if you didn't see it, last week's live stream on Sunday, we interviewed Carrie Brown. So I'm going to leave a link for that right over Rachel's head. She had a lot of good information. Definitely go check it out. So Carrie wrote, Hey, Carrie. I don't know how you guys do it, but it's been a lot of fun watching during this Christmas season. Aw. Audrey wrote, Hey, Audrey. You two are so committed. It's much appreciated. Love the 12 days of keto, and those pajamas are so cute. The live stream would be good e earlier on Thursdays, I think. Joe, you better start sleeping with one eye open. <laughs> Lisa wrote, Hey, Lisa. I've been really enjoying watching you two crazy ketos daily. I love the interview with Carrie Brown. Merry Christmas, and thank you. Please get some sleep. Aw. Kristen wrote, Hey, Kristen. Please, oh, please don't overwork yourselves. I know you should have a schedule to keep to, but you all's health comes first. You're amazing and I'm loving everything you all create, but make sure that you come first this time of the year. You guys are so <laughs> precious. This is awesome. It's like you cry as you're reading them. Man. Parrothead Renee wrote, Hey, Parrothead Renee. It's been so awesome to see you guys every day. I know you guys are super busy and I appreciate that you guys have taken the time to spend with us every day. 
I'm so technically challenged, so I can't imagine the time that it is taking to edit and deliver these videos for us to enjoy. You guys are absolutely inspirational and a comfort to me every day. Well, you're a comfort to us. I don't think that you guys understand like how precious you are to us and how you make us feel like we have a purpose on this earth. Yeah. And we just really appreciate, uh, we're just really honored, honestly, to just be a part of your lives. She also wrote, as far as the live days, you guys do what's best for your schedule. We've been logging on every single day so far. So we all love you and we'll follow you no matter what day you go on. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna cry. And you're not even gonna like know what's happening because of these crazy sunglasses. <laughs> Slap a stick road. Hey, Christopher. <laughs> Wednesday nights would be awesome. Thursdays have been hard for me because I'm usually driving. You should have just posted the silent video and made everybody think something's wrong with your speakers. He also wants to know how much liver heart do you put in your beef so that nobody knows and what kind of ratio? Ugh. I feel like I don't, I feel like I want the sound off on this. I usually just take a piece of it. I don't weigh it out or anything like that. I just cut up a bunch of it and throw it in there. Enough where I know Rachel won't know it's in there, but enough that it's making a difference in our lives. About how many pounds is that? Probably I put, if I had to guess, a quarter of a pound to a pound of ground beef. That's the threshold. Because honestly, I don't know what's in there. I really have never came to him and be like, taste this, see if it's bad. Like, what's going on in here? Like, Especially I really when don't you're know. adding like cream cheese and stuff like that. Whatever helps. Uh, C. Foster wrote, Hey, C. Foster. I vote to move the weekly live streams to Wednesdays. Okay. Uh, Kavita wrote, hey, Kavita. I vote for Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Wow, it sounds like Wednesday's the day. Jennifer wrote, Wednesday nights, please, for the live stream. I work on Thursday nights and have really enjoyed being able to participate in the 12 days of keto. Neat. Alan wrote, any day except for Tuesday, please. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Sybil wrote, hey, Sybil. the PJs are great guys. I love Dr. Barry and I think you should do the live stream on Wednesday. So there is no chance that you miss them. You two are important too, you know? Oh, uh, there seems like a lot of votes for Wednesdays. Yeah. Now I think we may have to move it even later though, because Chris is in the middle of figuring out all of the different keto YouTubers. And I think that, uh, Kim Howerton does one on Wednesday. So we may be She's moving awesome. it to nine o'clock, which we don't know yet. As soon as we know, we're going to figure it out this week. We'll let you guys know for the following week. Nine o'clock would probably be really good because that means people even on the West Coast, you know, they should be work. home from work by six o'clock. We're coming right? home. Yeah. Shanta wrote. Hey, Shanta. I would love to have the live streams when you don't have to rush off. So I would say Wednesday because then we can enjoy the conversations and not get cut off to get to the next live and you don't have to feel rushed either. That's a good idea. Janice wrote. Hey, Janice. Earlier on Thursday works for lives. Hi from Picking, Ontario. Wow. I'm new to your channel and I enjoy the content. Well, welcome. Paul wrote, Hey, Paul. Now you guys have really earned the title of Two Crazy Ketos. We are nuts. <laughs> I think, is he talking about like. Because probably because we had to stay up till midnight and, and then I stayed up till I 4 a.m. editing it. I think it's more about how crazy we look. Well, maybe you, the way you dress. What are you talking about? So, last one. Aaliyah wrote, Hey, Aaliyah. My husband supports me doing keto, but unfortunately, he's still eating junky food. When I cook, I cook keto friendly dishes for both of us, but he still comes home from work with a bag of Taco Bell. He definitely has a habit of eating late at night, especially sweets. Uh, I can see him putting some weight on, but to him, it's just muscle. So I'm not going to force him to change his habits. I'm just hoping that one day he's going to see the benefits of keto. I started all on my own, and I'm the only one in both mine and his family that's on keto. Well, first of all, I think he's pretty awesome that he is supporting you in what you're trying to do. Because that's half the battle. It like really having is. somebody to support you when they're not doing it. Exactly. That he's supporting you in your endeavor. And the best thing that you can do to say I love you back is not try to push him. It's not going to work anyway. You know, there was no chance that Joe was going to force me into keto. I had to see him be successful start feeling good, have more energy, and man, there was no better testimony than him just getting healthy on his own. And I think it's gonna be the same for you as you just stick with it, and there is a very great reason to stick with it is he's watching you, when he sees your success, he sees you sticking with it, he's gonna want that for himself. Yeah, and that's the case for anybody out there. If you've got any fr friends, family members, loved ones that you want to get onto keto, whether it be for weight loss or for health benefits, 
the best way you're gonna get them on is just by leading by example. Yeah. The longer you're doing it, the more success you're gonna have for your health benefits, you're gonna have more success you're gonna have for your weight loss, and they're just gonna want what you have and they'll jump on the bandwagon, which is how I got Rachel. Like exactly. Rachel thought I was a kook at first. Everybody's like, you're eating how much fat? You're eating how many eggs? But when they started seeing the weight, you know, pouring off, especially considering I've always struggled with different types of diets, when they saw me walking better and all those different health improvements, they had to take a second look at it. And that's why everybody started doing it. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to come up with a verbal argument or an incentive of like, why, you know, should you do this? Man, I was, I was watching his success and I just thought, I want what he's got. Yeah. So that is this week's Keto on the Couch. Um, please do us a favor and leave some questions and comments down below for next week's Keto on the Couch. Also, again, if you're not a member of our Facebook family group, please go over and join it. Leave your story because, again, your story is going to impact somebody. It's going to lift somebody up. It's going to encourage somebody. And that's what you know, Two Crazy Ketos is all about. It's about encouraging people to not only lose weight, but to improve their health. Absolutely. And thank you for being a part of our holiday season. Yeah. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week. Bye. bye.